Okay, hi everyone and welcome back to another update on the Simjack Pro Pedals. I am now six months in and overall, still have to say, very, very impressed uh, with these pedals, especially based on price to performance. My last video on these was a four month update and at that point, again, I was very happy with the performance and I was still using them in their full stock uh, condition. Within this first four months, I had tried a few different brake mods, such as stronger pring load spring, uh, new elastomers, and even skateboard bushings, but I always ended up going back to the stock setup as my preference. Now, if you've seen any of my recent race videos, you may have noticed that I've made some changes, and now I'm using a set of grey elastomers. To cut a long story short, not long after the last videos, my stock elastomers just gave in and they started to look a little bit like this. They were disformed, starting to shred and were becoming unpredictable in their performance. I knew the day would come that they would need to be replaced, but up to this point I hadn't found a solution that I liked. I thought about the hoisting belt upgrade, but this is quite expensive in relation to the pedals themselves and you need to change the spindle. Also, the Fiberlast 70 or 80 Shore elastomers were not available easily for me, and based on my previous testing, I thought they would also be too hard for the preferences that I prefer. So, I had seen on Amazon a company called Hawks of Engineering, or Hawkeng, selling 69 Shore elastomers, and some of our Facebook group members had also tried these with some success. I saw on their webpage that they had previously made upgrade elastomers for the Thrustmaster pedals in different hardnesses. So I reached out to them to see what else they had that might be suitable for the Simjack Pros. They were keen to help, very kindly sent me a selection of the elastomers they have in five different grades of hardness, including 38, 45, 55, 69, and 85 Shore. Now the stock elastomers are 25 millimeter diameter and when combined the three have a stack height of around 60 millimeters. The Hawkenge ones are 32 millimeter diameter and 15 millimeters tall each. So in this case you, you would use four to, to match the 60 millimeter stack height required. One of the questions that gets asked a lot in the Simjack pedal Facebook group and Discord is what mods should I get? And my answer is always try the pedals in stock form to start with. You will need to replace the elastomers at some point in the future, but your setup and preferences should decide what elastomer hardness you want. And some factors to consider are, do you have a sturdy rig so the pedals can be fixed securely? If no, then perhaps you might be better with a softer setup. Do you driving shoes? If yes, then perhaps a harder elastomer will suit you. And do you plan on using a heel plate? The heel plate raises the leverage point on the brake pedal and it can make it easier to press. So a harder setup may be better for you in this case. Then there is the personal preference. Some people prefer a hard pedal with a short travel distance. Others prefer a softer pedal with a longer travel difference. distance. Excuse me. Up to now, I've spent quite a bit of money on mods that for me just haven't worked how I expected. I tended to look at elastomers in the 70 to 80 shore range, but these when tested for me were just far too hard. Uh, some of them even needed to be drilled out to fit the shaft, which again isn't ideal. The good thing I found with the Hawk Angel elastomers is that they are priced well and come in many different grades. So it's easy to find something that suits you and they are also available via Amazon in packs in various sizes. With the various grades available, you can go harder or softer, or even combine strengths to create a progressive feel. Basically, it's what you want and how you like your setup to be. Now, what Hawkeng have said is that if there's enough interest, they will look to create a kit which has all the grades together. This way, you can tailor the setup to exactly how you want it, but for now, you can just get the ones you want or, or a selection. Also, which hardness should you go for? Well, as I said, this, I like the stock setup, but I did feel I wanted maybe 10% less travel and maybe 10% harder to press. I started testing on the 69 Shore Hawkenge, but for me, I thought these were too hard. So I went down to the 45 Shore and then these just felt great instantly. 
the 45 to me actually seem to give me exactly what I was looking for. And even though on paper they are less hard than the stock elastomers, with the Hawk Angel elastomers being 32 millimeters rather than 25 millimeter diameter, they give much more. Re they give more resistance, like for like, against the stock ones. So I'll put some information below and leave you with a few clips of some of the various grades in use that hopefully will help you decide on what might be right for you. First, we have a side-by-side -side of the stock elastomers against the 45 Shore Hawkenge, then a comparison of the 45 and 69 Shore, and then a combination of the two for a progressive feel. I'll put the links below for Amazon where you can buy these directly. Uh, please comment if you have any questions and subscribe for future updates. And remember, there is the Facebook and Discord group for more information. And thanks, and see you next time. Just done a two oh eight point five nine. Sector one time is good. Sector two time is quick. <laughs> that lap was at 22.01. Sector three time is fast.